Bear is wagering on these wagers. I might dabble in this as well because I like to tail them at times. We're starting with another game in the Pacific Northwest, Boise State at Washington. Boise State is a Mountain West favorite right now. Washington coming off a great season in Kalen DeBoer's first year. The number here is Washington minus 14. The total is 58 and a half. Bear, where are you leaning, buddy? I love the Huskies in this game, laying lay the 14 against Boise. This is not... I don't think a, one of those vintage Boise teams. Like if you go back in the, the last nine games, which I think it goes back to 2016 or so, Boise's two and seven against power five teams. And five of those losses are by at least 17 points. I, I just think the matchup is bad for Boise. Uh, this is primarily a run-based offense with, 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 with an offensive line that's pretty experienced and Halani at running back. I don't think that's going to bode well against the UW defensive front that I think is it got better last year because they played a little bit more complimentary football to, to help keep that defense off the field. And again, I normally don't like buying into these very hype teams early in the year. Look, I, I was on UW over last year when I think the, the win total was seven and a half or so, and they went over with flying colors. But this year, they're, you're asking them to win 10, and it's a lot. It's basically go out and do it again now. But I think the situation here being that Boise gets so much run up in there in the Pacific Northwest. The ties between the school with Peterson formally uh, coaching it, bo at both of them. Panics, I think, will come out and really give him, with, with a pretty good group of wide receivers, I think he tries and gets a, uh, his name in that, in that Heisman discussion early on. Again, I don't like the matchup for Boise. I think UW comes out here and puts a number up on the Broncos, and I like them laying the 14. I despise Washington. So it hurts me to say this, but I agree with you here. This number, I think, is wrong. This number should be 17 to 20. I think it's way too low for, as you mentioned, a Washington team that has multiple first-rounders at important positions, quarterback, left tackle, pass rusher, wide receiver. Look, do you buy into the 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 tailing green kind of year two in the Boise offense, Avalos with the defense? They lost some players, but can you coach? Like, or do you buy into any of the Mountain West favorite height for Boise? Maybe that keeps them in this game. Well, yeah, I, I buy into the Mountain West favorite hype because I think the Mountain West is down. It's not what we've normally seen. I just don't know if, yes, he played better at the end of the year. I don't know if they have the game breakers at receiver to really go out and, and challenge that Washington defense, which gave up some big plays last year. But I don't say, I, I don't I don't think there's still players at what we, we were used to seeing in their in their heyday when 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 Pete was there and they were in the BCS every year. So. Yeah, I'm 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 liking UW uh, quite a bit in this game. Uh, hurts my heart, but I agree with you there, buddy. Let's get to your <laughs> second wager for your bear bets. This is South Alabama off a 10 and three season last year. They're returning their leading passer, rusher, and receiver. They're at Tulane. Tulane last year off a Con Bowl victory against USC. 11 wins last year. They're favored by six and a half, and the total in this is 52. Bear, where are you leaning in week two? This is a very dangerous game for Tulane. You're coming off of that college football playoff or New Year's Six, I should say, miraculous comeback win against USC. And now you don't have Tajay Spears. You don't have you have Dorian Williams, a linebacker. You don't have Dick Anderson, the other linebacker. You got a South Alabama team coming off a 10 win season. Like I said, you just got eight, like 18 starters back. Give me South Alabama, the Jaguars, plus the six and a half in this game. I think the Jags have an excellent chance to win this game outright. Like they, 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 they need to capitalize on this window because I don't know how long this coaching staff is going to be together. Kane Womack, um, head coach, Major Rappel White's their offensive coordinator. I, they, they, this is a, a scary game for, for, for Tulane. Look, South Alabama's losses last year were by a point at UCLA in a game they very easily could have won. And then they lost like a 10-6 game or something like that to Troy, which wound up winning the Sun Belt. So those were their regular season losses last year. That's how close they were last year to having an undefeated regular season. So give me South Alabama plus the points, and I'll uh, sprinkle a uh, part of a unit there on the money line as well. By the way, uh, not only Tulane better be careful so this weekend, Oklahoma State better be careful in a couple of weeks as ooh. well. Oh, okay. I like that one. A, a, a little preview looking ahead here. You mentioned, right, South Alabama last year should have won in the Rose Bowl. They should have beat UCLA. A really weird fourth down call cost them an opportunity to beat the Bruins, a nine-win Bruin team last season. You mentioned something uh, interesting there. Uh, 18 returning production players 
for South Alabama out of their 22. How much do you look at returning production in your week one handicapping? I look at it quite a bit because I think it shows that you've got a lot of continuity back, a lot of players who are used to playing together, that where, where defensive signals, you, you, you know that these guys are where they suppo are supposed to be. You could make a late change and trust them. There are a lot of times a quarterback wide receiver connection, like you know the, uh, the hot routes, you know where wide receivers are going to be. You're just a lot more comfortable, I think, playing with, with, with a bunch of guys that you've played before. That's why I'm comfortable doing this show with you because – you and I have had great discussions for the, oh, for the last few years, us. and I'm I'm I'm, co I'm, co I'm comfortable giving you a hard time, just like you're comfortable giving me a hard time. 